आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ अव अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हेज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ क्लिम्स ऑफ दिस स्ट्रगल एवरी डे Twenty first of July is the death anniversary of one of the pioneer leaders of the nationalist movement, Umesh Chandra Banerjee. Born on the twenty ninth of December, eighteen forty four, in Calcutta, Banerjee went to England to study law in eighteen sixty four. In eighteen sixty eight, he returned to Calcutta and started his legal practice. He was able to gain a good reputation as a barrister. In eighteen eighty two, he became the first Indian to be appointed as a standing counsel. He famously defended Surendranath Banerjee in a case in the High Court of Calcutta. Umesh Chandra Banerjee was the president of the first session of the Indian National Congress in December 1885 at Bombay. In the second session the following year, which was presided over by Dada Bhai Naoroji, Banerjee suggested that the party form standing committees for every province to have good coordination of its functioning. Banerjee was president of the party one more time in 1892 at Allahabad. He also lived in England for a while and practiced law there. While he was a resident there, the Liberal Party gave him a seat to contest in the elections to the House of Commons. Although he was defeated, he became the first Indian to contest elections for the British Parliament. He passed away in Calcutta in 1906, aged 61. AIR News salutes the nationalist leader Umesh Chandra Banerjee. वैष्णव जन तो तेने कहिए जे पीड़ पराई जान रे We remember freedom fighter Jai Ram Das Daulatram who was born on the 21st of July 1891 in Karachi now in Pakistan in 1915 Jairam Das came into personal contact with Mahatma Gandhi and became his follower he also participated in the home rule movement Jairam Das joined the Indian National Congress and participated in the non cooperation movement in 1920 he was also a leading activist in the salt march and the quit india movement Jai Ram Das stayed in India during the partition and was appointed the first Indian governor of Bihar. He represented a constituency from Punjab in the Constituent Assembly of India. From 1950 to 1956, Daulat Ram served as the governor of Assam. He breathed his last on 1st of March 1979. AIR News salutes the great nationalist. We also remember the last Mizo Azad Hind Forge member that Thoma Rentley who died on the 21st of July 2019 born in 1920 in the state's Pukpui village Rentley had served in the medical corps of the Indian army prior to becoming a freedom fighter during World War II he was sent to Malaysia where he had fought the invading Japanese soldiers However, he was captured and taken to Singapore as a prisoner of war. He met Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose when the latter once visited the prison. Following his release, he joined the Azad Hind Forge and fought the British army in Myanmar along with fellow rebels and Japanese soldiers. However, they surrendered. in the aftermath of the bombings in Hiroshima and Nagasaki The British 
convicted Renthalay for waging a war against them and put him behind bars. He was released two years later in 1945 following the intervention of Mahatma Gandhi. The Indian government awarded him the Tamra Patra in 1972 for his role in the struggle for Indian independence. The noble soul breathed his last on the 21st of July 2019 at the age of 99. We salute this great independence fighter. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.